um, ahead of this crucial encounter. It's a friendly against DR Congo tomorrow. We've got Coach Hugo Bros here as well as Lyle Foster who will address the media today. So I'm just going to hand over to Coach just to express his feelings ahead of this encounter and also looking back at lessons learned from Namibia. Coach? <coughs> Good afternoon. Um, so first, uh, everything goes well on camp. So um, we don't have really big problems. Um, to come back on the game of Saturday. So I said already, Saturday after the game, that I was not unhappy with the performance. Uh, before the game, we said that the performance would be the most important thing, more important than the result, even that we wanted to win. And we could win the game. We had chances uh, to win. But at the other side, I think uh, you have to look also at the team we played. Many new players, players who didn't play so much the last games. So uh, that means that uh, yeah, the players didn't know really each other. They need to adapt and, and, and that was one of the reasons I think that our, uh, the level of, um, of our game was not so high. We could have done better, but again, um, that was not for me the most important thing. The most important thing was to see the play to play the players. Um, as I said already in the past, uh, it's not because you are a good player in the club or one of the best players in the club that you can be a good Bafana Bafana player. This is a level higher. And uh, certainly when you play then against a team like Namibia, who is playing very low, very compact, and then with counter-attacks, players who are very quick, like Otto, like the the the, um, the striker. I don't know his name, but yes, they're just hoping that they can escape. And they had a few chances, but when you feed the few chances they had, um, we have to be honest, it was more our mistake than um, the, the the combination or, or the action of, uh, of Namibia. Uh, the first... Uh, was a bad pass of Salang. Okay, uh, the guy is uh, alone in front of Veli. The second was um, losing ball of Grant uh, on the 16. So, but okay, um, again, the chances we had, this is a little bit a pity that we couldn't score. Otherwise, we could have win the game. And therefore, again, I was really not unhappy after, uh, after the game. The goal of the game uh, was achieved and that was seeing the players, judging the players, what we are going to do now in the next days after Congo, and then see what will be the future. Um, tomorrow it's a new opponent, a different opponent, a new st another style, also an Afton qualifier. They qualified for Saturday against, uh, against Sudan. It's a better team than Abibia, more quality. Uh, they play also differently um, than Namibia, so I think it will be a nicer game to watch than what we saw on Saturday, not only from our side, but just two teams, I think, who will play for winning. Um, the result is important, so uh, we change a little bit our mindset now. Um, we can't, or I can't tell you that uh, the performance is more important now. But the game against Congo is the result that's important. We have to see that we can win that game. I, I, I wouldn't uh, enter camp with a draw and a defeat. Not at all. So also for the players, there will be another uh, mindset. It will not be the same team, that's for sure. Uh, as I said, and there we're following the plans we had before the camp, so everyone will have his playtime. So there were players already who had a playtime on Saturday. Those who were not on the pitch uh, Saturday will be in the team with other players, but it will be a little bit, uh, a little, a, a, different, uh, a different team. I expect more, surely. I expect more tomorrow of, uh, of that team. I want to see again 
uh, Bafana Bafana team what I saw in the past against Morocco, against uh, Liberia, one half here, but there in another way. But I want to see that team again, and uh, we play for uh, for the victory. That is for sure. Thank you. Taking questions for coach. This mic is too high. to make it lower. Okay, that was, how is it now? Yeah, it's okay. All right, happy prof. Okay, questions? <coughs> I was clear. <laughs> I think so, I think so, coach. Okay. And didn't say something. No questions? Um, Velila, you can go Yes, ahead. yes. So, um, coach, good afternoon. Um, so we take it as you have said, um, we will mainly see more of those who are not in action on Saturday. We will what? We will, make, we will, we will see more of those players who didn't play on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, all of them. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, That was the plan. Uh, we tried to give as much as possible playtime to those who were new and those um, who didn't play, like, for example, Sibishi. He was he's always with the team, but uh, he, he didn't play so much. So we, we tried to have that team of those players. But now uh, players like Mayambela, Persitao, uh, um, who are the others, they will be in the team uh, tomorrow, that is for sure. Maybe just a quick follow-up coach. Is this indicative of uh, Hugo Blossom's starting lineup for, for Bafana? Is I what? Is this indicative of oh no no yeah. no don't don't think uh, okay this will be the team but uh, when you see a little bit our last three games two times Liberia even in Liberia so <laughs> much changes but uh, take take the team of, of Morocco uh, I think we we will more and more go to that team maybe with tactically sometimes uh, or because we think that it's better with another player but there will be no more big changes anymore uh, for uh, next month i want to to go to a core of players which who we will work to afghan and maybe yes there will be uh, for an injury or a player who is really playing very good that we take uh, with the team but but it will be from from next month it will be nearly always the same core of players uh, which who we will uh, play the the games uh, Swantini and, and, and Ivory Coast, the two qualifiers, and maybe also the 23 players who will go to Ivory Coast for uh, for Afcon. So that's now the plan to have that core of players and to work with them and to prepare them for a good qualifier uh, start and uh, and Afcon. Next question, Lorraine. Coach uh, against Congo, you're obviously not going to be sitting with 70% possession tomorrow like you did against Namibia. So how much of your approach changes tomorrow against Congo? My approach changed that uh, I will not be happy when we play a game like uh, Saturday. <laughs> that will might be my approach. So uh, again, Saturday for me was more, okay, guys play and I ask that and that and, and I will see if you can do it. So and if you can't do it, what's the problem? But this is not the case anymore tomorrow. Tomorrow you play against a good team, and I want again to see what I saw against Morocco, what I saw before. Again, the team who plays good football, who has chances to win the game. And, and, and my mindset will also be different tomorrow. Maybe I will be a little bit more angry when I see the same things that what I saw uh, on Saturday. Uh, I, will, I will push the players more when it's not good. And, and I think I, I couldn't do that on Saturday. You can't uh, be very severe when you judge a player when he's for the first time in Bafana Bafana. Uh, already being the first time in Bafana Bafana for a player is... <sighs> uh, but I gave them, from the first moment, I gave them the chance to play. So then from my side, I have to be a little bit more uh, how you call it in English, not so severe than, than um, I will be, for example, tomorrow or I was uh, for the game against Morocco. This is totally different. Any other questions? Going, going? Going, going. 
fine. Okay. Thank you.